Brian Larkin is no stranger to putting fine finishes on boats. He's been leading projects at the Brooklyn Boat Yard for over a decade, and he's been responsible for putting multi-million dollar finishes on some of the world's finest classic yachts. But for his own boats, Brian has a different philosophy about maintenance and finishes. It's all about landing kids on islands and having a good time. He's landed more kids on islands than anyone we know. And one of the reasons the kids always have fun is there's no fear or stress around dinging up the boats. I taught the class in building these shells backs for years and everybody always wanted to paint them. They see the wood and they want it. I'm like, oh my God, I just think of the way I use my boat, you know, in and out, kids driving, you know, in and out of it, throwing stuff in it, throwing their bags and throwing rocks in it. You know, it's just what it is. It's fun. If they're so precious and the kids can't play in them or you, you're worried about every time you drop something in it, sand and gravel. And anybody that's been on the coast of Maine realize what you're feet look like when you get in a dinghy or what I used to tell the kids at the guys at uh, the wooden boat school are doing they're really like the back of your pickup truck and they really are just trucks to you know to get stuff anyway they're not pieces of furniture you know some are and if that's what you want that's fine but not the way that we use them you know here and, uh, and in that case you know first the first thing is if you want to keep them nice and painted that's great but varnish is out <laughs> you know it's just not worth it <laughs> every three or four years when I can't stand the looks of it and you know then we you know we go for it you know, and you know, it looks good. And when it looks like now, the paint's all worn off from bailing and everybody's sandy feet. And it's been dock rash. It's been stuck between two boats. It's been left in the water too long in the fall and all of that. And you know, so now it's this year's the, this year's the year. Every year, Brian and his wife Karen do the maintenance on their 28-foot lobster boat, Blue Dolphin, as well. A bigger boat, but the same philosophy prevails. Well, if we, if we keep on top of it, I only have to paint half the boat every year and that's that works out best either we paint the superstructure or the hull you know the great thing about painting your boat you get to look at it every year you look at every little piece you touch it all over you averse to doing it if you have somebody else to do it they, they see that stuff and you don't so you're very aware of what you've got and what your boat's doing you know we're, so i think that makes a big difference but i don't do a job as well as I would do for somebody else they were paying me you know about 85 percent you know but you know I, I have just as much fun on the boat when it's perfect and when it's just slightly less than perfect it doesn't seem to make a difference in the summer so, <laughs> so. <laughs> and you don't feel quite so bad when the kids drive the dinghy into it bow first for the 30th time yeah. <laughs> I'll spend about an hour sanding I've got one side done I don't know how long have you been here so <laughs> And uh, it'll take us about uh, 20 minutes to paint it. We'll have to wipe it down, but we don't have to tape off or anything. So, yeah, and that's it for this year. Whatever, however it comes out. <laughs> so, don't touch it. <laughs> While you may see videos on our site that show fussy, detailed maintenance techniques, we want to let you know that we all use Brian's no-fuss approach on our own boats. The no-fuss approach to maintenance is one of the little secrets we've discovered for everyone to have fun on board during the season, and for the family not to feel overwhelmed by a long list of maintenance chores every spring.